Praise the Lord. You know, praise the Lord this morning. I, I don't know a lot of y'all I really don't. But you know, today, today I'm home. Amen, brother. I love you. Yeah. The Bible says where the Spirit of the Lord is. You know, this morning I felt that. I, I enjoyed it. It's been wonderful. It really has. I, you know, I, I live in Florida, and yes, we had some sad news this morning. A, a good uncle, good brother in the church died. And, you know, but we have a hope that we're going to see him again. Amen. You know, he, 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 he wasn't perfect, okay? No, no. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. You're not perfect. None of us are perfect. But you know he did he did do so much for everybody, and it was it's going to be hard on the family. We'll get through it with the help of the Lord. I know, Amen. I know with the help of the Lord we can, we'll make it. But you know I I've sat here and I've thought and I've thought and I've thought. What will I say today? And you know I remember an old brother one time when he when he told us younger brothers years and years and years ago, probably thirty. Probably 30 years ago now. He told us if you ever got up here and you didn't know what to say, that if you could speak the word Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. If you could just speak His word sincerely this morning. There's power in that. But this morning, I, I tell you, I... I feel as good here as I've ever felt in my life. I'm going to be honest with you. I've sat here and I've sat here and I've sat here and I've, I've tried to quench the Spirit. I, I really have. I, do, I have to do that. I really do because when I feel the Spirit of the Lord and, and I know something's happened to me and something's changed my life and I feel that same Spirit came to me that day and changed me and I feel it again and I, I can feel it's gone. I know it's the Lord, Brother Charlie. I know it's the Lord today. And if you get mad today about me saying I know, but I know one day in this world, there's no way by nature I should be here this morning. Not by nature, because I was born as I. So I know my family knows my story. But I, I do love to tell my story because, it's, because it, it was the Lord. Because I was born in a place called Sioux City, Iowa. Yeah, but not a lot of people know where that's at. And I was moved. All over the United States. I lived in California, and I lived in New Mexico, I lived in Nebraska, I lived in Montgomery, Alabama, I lived in Key West, Florida, I lived in Homestead, Florida, and I ended up in Fairfield, Florida. It's exactly what it was. I was a military child. But you know, uh, I met a girl one day. And this is the Lord, see. I, I believe that this is the Lord. He is I met a young lady that I was attracted to. And again, I think it's the Lord. Now, it, it, I found out on the weekends that if I ever wanted to see her on Sunday, I had to go to church. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to see her on Sundays. <laughs> but like Brother Charlie said, I, I would start feeling pretty good and I'd sit towards the back and I'd always... I'd always grab a hold of the the rail like this when it started getting pretty good. I'd get get hold of the rail and then I'd turn loose of that rail and walk oh, to the yeah. back or run to the back, whatever the occasion was to get out that day. But you know, I, I the more I the more I stayed with my girl, who was my wife after 31 years, you know, I look and I, I can see how the Lord has blessed me. Yeah. yeah, I can see how he how he took somebody like me. Again, I don't even know who the the old regular Baptist or the United Baptist or the Primitive Baptist or who said the men go to Pentecostal. I had no idea what any of them were. I really didn't. But I heard a sound one day. I heard a sound that changed my life. Oh, it had power in it. Oh, it it, it, it made me. It made me, when I left the, my wife's house that day, I drove home to that little, little place in Orange Lake that I was living in, which is all, it's all right near Ocala. But you know, I, I, I wasn't a very rich man. I really wasn't. I, as a child, I 
still not rich by any means, but you know, I had a little trailer I lived in, and there was a there was a bedroom in it. Yeah. And it was about eight by eight. And it had a little sliding door on the pocket door. You've seen them before, you know what I'm talking about. You see, it had a little place in order to let one night. I got out of my knees for the first time. I got out and I cried to the Lord. Yeah. See, I, I made a connection for the first time in my life with Jesus Christ. Yeah. For the first time, I met, met my Lord and Savior. That night on my knees, I know. I know it was that night. And I know that it was the power of God that was able to make me that next time that we had church. I was able to grab the hold of that rail. And I was able to turn that rail loose. And for the first time, I walked towards the pulpit. Yeah. I was able to come up here. And I felt his spirit so strong. And like I told you before, that meeting was special because Brother Gary A. there had joined that day. And there, were, there was a lot going on in there from over here and over here. And there was shouting everywhere. Everybody was praising the Lord. But I wanted to go, Brother Jason. And I knew this was my chance. I knew that the Lord had finally worked with me enough. And he finally made me. See, he forgave me. See, that's what he did. He forgave me. He forgave me. And he gave me an opportunity to become a child of his. You see, it, 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 it's not nothing that I've done, but it's a gift of God. And I know it's... And that's why I want to tell people how free it is. You know, man, it's not that hard. It really is. It's really not that hard. We can make it hard. We can make it hard. If we want to. We can make it hard. If we want to. But when the power of God starts moving, you ain't stopping it. You're not stopping it today. It's going to change you. It's going to make you... It's going to give you whatever kind of strength you think you don't have. It's going to give you strength enough to stand that day and be able to come up here. And when a brother said, have you been praying? And you feel like the Lord's forgiven you your sins. And do you want to take up membership? He'll give you the strength to turn loose from that rail. He'll give you the power to walk up here. Yes, he will. And be able to give you the power to where you can open up your mouth for the first time and say, I feel like Christ has forgiven me. Yes, and I want to go in this whole church. See, well, that, that's another thing. I didn't know what to say that day when I came. I really, because I wasn't part of it. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. I really didn't. But when the, when the moderator asked me, do you believe you've been forgiven? And do you want to take up membership? All I knew to say was yes. Yes, because I felt something. For the first time in my life, I felt the power of the Lord in my soul. I felt it for the first time, and I was free. I was free, and I was able for the first time to stand up and praise the Lord.